Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, let's see. You've got the first card as the release card, which is holding on to a person from the past. It is not allowing you to move forward um, in your life. And it is important. Uh, it is not important why the person is in your life, but you cannot let him or her go. It is old baggage. You need to let go, release uh, that situation. So there's somebody that you're having difficulty walking away from, and you do need to release this person. This person might be an alpha female, and uh, this represents a powerful person in your life, and uh, this person uh, might change your life. She's not a lover. So you might be dealing with somebody, a female person in your life, that you're having difficulty letting go of. This is not a lover. This is somebody that you are, um, you know, tied to in some kind of way. Uh, it could be, you know, a parent uh, it could be somebody that is very, very close to you. It could be a sibling. But there's a need for you to release this person and let go and walk away from them because they are not a, uh, a positive influence for you. They are rather uh, more of a toxic influence and it seems like you need to sever ties with this person. You've got the trickster and maybe this is the reason why this person is a, could be, uh, you know, very toxic. There could be a trickster. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, this, there's a person in your life um, who you cannot trust. Be cautious uh, you may save your heart, money, or both. Time exposes the trickster. So it looks like you're dealing with somebody. There's an alpha female. So this person has very got a lot of influence over you. They seem to um, have some kind of control over you. It's a female. And it seems like you need to walk away from this person because they are not uh, for your best, serving your best interests because they are lying to you in some kind of way. Uh, you are not quite sure or you haven't seen the lie yet. But it seems like you might have to um, walk away from this person. If you don't, the lie will get exposed and you will be able to see them for what they are. The deception will be revealed. But it looks like you're having a difficult time, uh, you know, severing the tie with that person. You've got the famine card of year, a time of limited opportunity or sacrifice. Only The only solution is to conserve all resources and seek a greater opportunity somewhere else. So you are going through a period of lack loss or you know where you are having to watch your money very carefully um there are hard times here and you, you know you're having to uh, sacrifice things you know give up things uh, in order for you to not overspend or for you to have enough to meet your financial needs or even your emotional needs so you are going through a very difficult period at the moment and going into the future, you've got the gift card over here. So someone might offer you nourishment spiritually or emotionally, a time to receive gifts or legacies, a time of developing ta talents. This could indicate a time in your life uh, where you have to receive, be it a friendship, money, or a kind word. <coughs> Excuse me. So something is coming in for you that will relieve you from the difficult situation that you're going through. This might come in the form of emotional support. Or it may be coming in the form of money. So you might receive some kind of, kind of gift, some kind of assistance, some kind of help. So you are dealing with some difficult person that you have a bond with, uh, that you, um, you know, that might be deceiving you, uh, that you you need to to uh, break that tie, but you're not quite sure because they have a lot of influence, and you don't you don't really want to, or you maybe you can't release that situation at the moment. Uh, but it seems like you know. Uh, this is old baggage. Maybe this is something that is a toxic relationship, not good for you, and you will have to let it go in order for you to move forward. Once you do that, it looks like there are gifts that come in for you. There will be help and assistance if you are going through a very difficult time, which it seems like you are. Um, so, you know, something will come in, maybe in the form of help or advice um, to get you through a difficult situation. So those are the energies for that week. So this is the um, Apocalypse Tarot, and I'm going to just um, use it for the main read. Okay, so the main card is the Queen of Swords over here. So you are very, very focused on your work. Um, you know, you are spending a lot of time by yourself as well. You may have come through a very difficult situation. The Queen of Swords generally is a person who has been through a divorce or a separation that has had a very, very impact, a uh, big impact on their lives. 
and now they're holding back everybody pushing everybody away because they don't really want to deal with that kind of drama anymore so this could be, well be the case and you have now decided to focus on your work but you're very determined to get things done so you are you know very much in charge uh, of whatever you um you are doing but you don't allow people to get very close because of the previous problems that you had or the previous hurt that you went through um but you are uh, you know you speak your truth you know exactly what you want and you're very determined and you take control you take charge um, and you know you're very honest open and very um, you know you look uh, you don't like any deception going on as well and you can see through the deception as well so that makes you um, you know maybe it scares people that you know you're not taking any nonsense from them as well now you're going through a situation where you're dealing with a lot of anxiety so you might be dealing with two people that are causing a lot of stress in your life uh, you know, maybe they're saying things or doing things behind your back uh, that you're not quite aware of, but it's causing you a lot of uh, anxiety, maybe not sleeping at night as well. Um, and you're worrying about this, maybe overly, overly um, worrying about a situation. You've got the hermit card over here. So you've got two cards of being spending too much of time alone, too much of time by yourself. The hermit card is talking about focusing a lot on your work, focusing a lot about finding the truth and moving forward. You know, you are going on your own strength. You're doing it alone um, and you're very worried. You're trying to uncover the truth. Maybe there was deceptive dealings uh, or deceptive people that you were dealing with and you're trying to uh, to to cover the truth now you can see this particular shaman is drumming this drum so you are a, per a person who's walking to your own drum the beat of your own drum in the sense that you are doing what you want to do and you're not taking any advice from some anybody else even with this queen of swords you are following your own instincts and you're following your own desires and you're not taking advice from anybody else you're going it alone if you need to and um you know you are you're very focused on what you want to do as well in the past, you've got the nine of wands, so you've dealt with a lot of difficulties. You, you know, it tied you out. It took its toll on you. There were problems one after the other, and you had to fight battles one after the other. There was a lot of confusion, deception. You got the moon over here. There was a lot of drama. You got a lot of fire over here. Uh, you know, maybe people were against you, and you had to stand up, uh, you know, against a lot of people. And it has brought you to your knees, but you have stood your ground, uh, and you're not allowing anybody close. You can see she's. Uh, you know facing the past so anybody from the past you've cut them out and you're not allowing them back into your life again you've got the judgment card over here so this is uh you know this is about a judgment call being made but this is about taking a different direction in life so maybe you've changed what you were doing and you've taken a new path maybe resurrected an old dream that you wanted to do or started something brand new um you've know, gone down a different path so where you know you were going down something um you know um what you know what you were trained to do is not what you're doing right now in other words you've taken some a complete uh, uh change of direction and you're doing something else uh you might have gone back to the past may, maybe you've gone back if this is a relationship maybe you've um reconnected with somebody from the past as well that has allowed you to see things in a different life and start doing things in a different way it's definitely uh, you know, resurrection of the old and moving on in a new direction because of all the lessons that you learned. The six of wands is now what's on your mind is victory. So you have been getting success after going through a lot of difficulties. So you have faced a lot of problems in the past. You've got the nine of wands facing all those problems and, you know, defending yourself. But this is victory. So this is victory and recognition after going through all the problems that you have gone through. So going to the future, you've got the Ace of Wands. So this is a brand new energy, a brand new project coming in, something new, a new direction, new idea. And you're relying on a lot on your instincts, but also you're making some kind of decision. You're weighing the pros and cons and you are taking on this new project. If this is a relationship, then this could be a, a, you know, a, a new relation, sexual relationship coming in as well. But if this is about, uh, you know, you moving in a new direction as far as your work goes and as far as your life is, you have a new idea, a new plan, a new energy. And, you know, the wands cards, it rules fire. So you're very determined and very enthusiastic to start something brand new. You've got this princess of wands over here. So this new project coming. So here's the idea. And here is you putting it into action with this princess of wands. So whatever you have decided that you want to do, you are, have now got the power in your hands the wisdom the knowledge the understanding and 
you know, you are going to be the person that moves forward with it. The Princess of Wands is your card and is taking that idea from the Ace of Wands or that project or the enterprise and putting it into action with that Princess of Wands. So it's not just an idea or concept. This is actually manifesting that idea into reality here. So you are, um, you know, you're doing something that's producing a result. You've got the Ace of Cups of Earth, so this is starting a brand new cycle as far as emotions goes. This is also about brand new learning coming in. You can see this transformation over here. This is about people around you that might be a, an apology coming in for, from somebody who has done you down. Um, it looks like there is something coming in that's going to change the way you look at things. You're taking on a new stance. You've transformed yourself. You are not letting the past uh, get you down. And you're very much in tune with your emotions as well. So starting something brand new, a, a new direction, a new understanding as well. This could also be a new relationship coming in if you're single, um, because this is the beginning of a brand new emotional cycle for you. You've got the Three of Pentacles. So here you are, uh, you know, you want this job to progress, to be stable. You want recognition. You also want to work with a broader audience as far as your work goes. Um, and you want that stability, that order to come into your life. So you want new money to come in and you want to be in charge and control of that situation. So this is the Three of Pentacles and this is in your hopes and fears. You're trying to focus on your work, but you also want to take that leadership role and also be able to communicate with a lot of people. You've got the Three of Cups, the Four of Swords and the Eight of pentacles as the final outcome three of cups get together with friends um you know socializing so it's time to go out there and go and have some fun as well so get uh, you know out of this anxiety phase that you're going through um any stress that you're going through you are very very anxious get together with some old friends exchange some ideas go out there and have uh, some time out um, speak to people, exchange, you know, share what you're feeling with your friends. So you do need to get together with some friends if an invitation comes your way. You've got the Four of Swords. So whatever stress you're going through, you do need to heal from it. There's somebody around you that's very faithful, helping you get through a difficult situation here. Um, and, uh, you know, will be there to guide you and give you that advice and give you back the power in your hands from that advice. So you do need to get out there, and you have been going through a lot of stress and anxiety. It seems like if you get together with these friends, you start healing. Uh, they say something, maybe some support comes in for you that allows you to heal from the situation. And then you've got the Eight of Pentacles over here. So whatever you're getting into, uh, you know, you will be, um, um, it's something new. And you'll be also learning new skills as well on this particular job. New wisdom comes in with this. You've got the Ganesha over there. So you are going to be doing something where you are going to be learning something new. And uh, maybe even getting taken on that role as being a teacher. Uh, you'll have to work on it, obviously, but you will become an expert in whatever you're doing over here. So you do need to lighten up a little bit, uh, you know, um, get away from that stress and whatever comes in that's brand new um, you know on the work front is going to be something that you learn a lot so whatever this new project is it's going to bring in about a new phase of learning and maybe even uh, make you into that kind of teacher you've got that ace of wands and the ace of uh, the eight of pentacles showing that you will be you know a teacher role or whatever you learn whatever this new project is is going to bring in a lot of learning so you are in, in manifestation mode right now Whatever idea you had with this uh, Ace of Wands is now becoming uh, very concrete in your life. So it's not just an idea. It's not just an offer. It's something that you're going to be working on, something brand new. And you need to get out of this phase of being really, really stressed out. You can see this person's very stressed out. And focus on yourself over here. This Hermit card is also showing. It's a card ruled by Virgo, so that is very focused on work. So you will take on this role of where you're very, very focused on your work, but new learning coming in over here and maybe becoming uh, an expert at it. Uh, teaching people, um, inspiring others, sharing your wisdom as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot. And this is for the um, Oracle Read. You've got the Ace of Winter over here, which says impl implementation of your brilliant new idea may go off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals. So this is the Ace of Winter, and this means that you know you are starting something brand new. Don't worry about problems. Uh, you will be able to overcome them. You've got the King of Winter over here, which says it's time for... Um, in this time, it's very important for you to communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. So if you need some expert advice, it's um, you will get it, but you need to communicate very clearly as well. And you've got the lover's card. This is about choice. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. 
follow your heart with caring actions. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of choice with regards to this work. Uh, you need to seek advice if you do need uh, expert advice and make sure you're communicating clearly. And don't worry about any obstacles or problems right now. They in itself will sort themselves out. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.